Actually, I'm gonna shut my window because you can hear the rain. Welcome to the vlog from one of the gloomiest days in New York City. It is so gloomy today. We've struggled finding the motivation to do anything, but um, we're here, we're doing it. And honestly, this video doesn't even feel that fitting. I wanted to do like some spring cleaning in my room and organize it and switch out like my cold weather and warm weather clothes. Um, it's not feeling like the sunniest, cheeriest day to do that, but we're gonna, we're gonna make the vibes ourselves. I think Bennett's knocking. Yeah, Bennett, Bennett was knocking. Hey, but I wanna close the door so I can film. Bennett has been extremely sleepy today because it's been so rainy. He was just sleeping on the couch for hours. I wish I was him. Welcome to the vlog. If you're new here, my name is Alexis. I'm 26, I live in New York City. And I thought that we would just clean up my room. As you can see right now, it's kind of a little messy as usual. I didn't make my bed this morning, but that was on purpose. Yeah, that was on purpose so we could do it in the video together. I don't really want to do anything crazy. I just kind of want to, my, my drawers are horrible right now. Nothing is folded, I can't find anything. So I want to refold everything and then I want to put my sweaters away, put away my big winter coats. I'm gonna leave out like a puffer or two, you know, in case we get cold temperatures again, which we will. We will, because that always happens. But I want to do like the, the big switches to kind of get my wardrobe set up for summer and then clean up whatever's going on back here. Even though it is a little gloomy and the sun is going to set soon, but that's okay. We're gonna start by making my bed. Then we're gonna figure out what this stuff is. And then we're gonna pull out my suitcase with all my spring clothes and go from there. I turned on my mirror light for a little bit of light, but as, as it gets darker and gloomier and the sun sets, we'll turn on more lights, make it a little mood light. I do love keeping my sweatshirts up here in my closet. If you remember when I totally revamped the closet, sometimes I need to use my piano stool to put them up here and sometimes they get a little messy. So I'm taking the break to refold a lot of them because some of them are just shoved up here. Is the best way to go about this? That's a good question. I don't know. Um, I think, I'm, let me take out the suitcase with all my summer stuff in it. I think I'll put all my summer stuff on my bed right here and then we'll just start packing away all the winter stuff into the suitcase. Okay, this camera angle goes crazy. It could fall on me any second, but we're just trying it out. We're hanging out. There's a million hangers in this suitcase. Oh. There's a million hangers in this suitcase that I did not realize that I still have. I already put away some Christmas themed clothes. So let's see what I have. <laughs> Bennett is like so curious what's going on. It's so exciting having color back in my wardrobe. I kind of feel like my fall wardrobe and winter wardrobe is just all like black and gray. I mean, my summer wardrobe honestly is too, but at least there's a little more color. I love this set. So many bathing suits. Oh, my favorite dress from Abercrombie. Okay, now let's see if we can attempt to fit my winter stuff into this suitcase. Let's shift this summer stuff over. I just feel like my winter stuff is so much bulkier that it's gonna be harder to fit. One thing about Bennett, he loves a suitcase. He's already made his, uh, found his spot. Oh, 
Ugh, I don't think I ever even wore this dress this year. It's so cute. It's the like only thing I own from Revolve. This and my big tan coat. I just have nowhere like nice-ish to go this year. This summer, I want to go more places where I can dress up nice. Because I feel like I just never go anywhere where I have to dress up nice. And I want to do that. I have no faith all these coats are going to fit in here. I feel like I can leave out one or two sweaters that are like a spring sweater. This just made packing everything into a suitcase is way harder. There's no way. There is literally no way these coats are gonna fit in here. The lamps came on for a little more light. It was getting a little dark. I found this container that will fit under my bed. So let's see if I can fit my coats in the container. Just like, these are all my long coats. I really wish I lived in an apartment with a coat closet. My very first apartment where I lived with my roommates in Washington Heights, it was a four bedroom, and we had three closets. We had a coat closet, a super giant deep closet, and then just like a normal storage closet. And then all of our bedrooms had like giant closets. It was, I did not know how lucky I was at the time until moving, nowhere has a closet. Okay. I've literally, I'm sweating, I had to take off my sweatshirt. I've been battling this suitcase. I'm so close. I am so close to getting all of it to fit. This is literally what I looked like on the ground of the airport coming home for Christmas every year in college because my suitcase always weighed more than 50 pounds that I would check. So I'd always be like taking stuff out. I had like seven hats on, two coats, and I'm like on the ground shoving stuff in. I was just young and naive, I didn't know. I always thought I needed to bring everything with me. Literally when I went home for Thanksgiving this year, I just brought Bennett in a backpack and I just shoved like a pair of pants and a sweater in there and just hoped I could just wear random clothes that I wore in high school that I found around my house. My parents moved when I was in college, so whenever I go to visit them, it's not like home where I'm from, so I don't see anyone or do anything. So, it doesn't really matter how I look. I don't know how I got on this tangent. <sighs> no. Things started to get a little bit uh, not pretty, but I got them under the bed, barely. Um, okay, now let's look through these clothes and hang some stuff up. I really cannot wait for the weather that's warm enough to wear dresses. I never even wore this dress last year. And I think the sweaters that I'm leaving out, I am gonna hang up as well. They used to be folded up in there, but I wanna hang them. Everything that I wanna be hung up is hung up. Now to get to these drawers. I'm a little scared, but I think we can do it. I've also cooled down a little bit. I had to open my window, if you're here. The outside noises. <laughs> I don't think I've ever closed my curtains before. I kind of like it. I like the vibe. I'm going to sort the stuff. Oh, and I forgot to hang up this. Okay. And I forgot to hang up this. See, this is why we're doing this. I'm going to sort what I have out right now. Oh my gosh. I have been looking for this leotard for months. I was like, when I moved, I must have just like thrown it away. But I guess I packed it with my summer bathing suits on accident. I've been looking for this. My top drawer was pants, but I kind of want to put my bathing suits in my top drawer, so I'm going to do that. Do I 
have my jean shorts already out? I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, where are my jean shorts? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I never put those away. They're, they're in there. I have a lot of like sweatpants shorts. Um, I think those are gonna go in the drawer with my bathing suits as well. Some of them could be retired, but you know, I like to wear them around the house. Like these ones have seen better days, but I have a lot of like loungewear that I only wear inside, <laughs> especially when I like worked from home. And you know what? I think I'm gonna move my jean shorts up here too. And my athletic shorts, why not? Let's do, let's do all the shorts. Let's figure out what's going on with my pants. Moving on to like my tank tops and stuff. This is a bit of a, a scary drawer. Definitely has gotten very out of hand. So let's kind of see what's going on here. Bennett has really just uh, made himself at home right here. Okay, we're getting there. I feel like I'm gonna have to take a dinner break soon. We have every drawer done except for like miscellaneous shirts that I kind of have right here that I wanna fold up and figure it out. A loose screw, that can't be good. taking a break here so I can make some dinner and then come back. I'm gonna take that suitcase back out to try to fit the pants in that I forgot to put. Take a ton of hangers out to hang up some more stuff and then organize my sock and underwear drawer because it's scary in there. Don't let me wearing the same sweatshirt fool you because I'm in different pants. Uh, it's the next day. So it's significantly brighter outside. So I made dinner last night and then I had to edit a video. And then by the time I was back to trying to do this, I was exhausted. So I went to sleep. I, where we left off, I have all my drawers done except for my top drawer with all of my underwear, socks, sports bras, 
uh, we need to organize it because I feel like I can't find anything. It's gotten very, very scary. Let's uh, take a peek and see what's going on. Also, all my lights are still on because it is so incredibly gloomy still outside, like worse than yesterday. See, look at that, what's going on? What's going on here? I have so many tall socks, but I really have like no short socks anymore. I need to like buy more. I feel like I'm always buying more little socks and I never seem to have any. I don't know, does anyone else have that problem? I'm always like, oh, let me pick up another pair of socks. I feel like I never have any. And then I pick up the pair, but I still only have like three pairs of socks. I don't get it. Okay, next I have to do something a little unfortunate, which is take that giant suitcase that took me forever to get under my bed back out. I put that under there a little prematurely. I wanna hang up all these tops in my closet and the rest of my hangers are in there. Also, if I'm lucky, I'll fit these leather pants into the suitcase to put away. I had to take off my sweatshirt because of course, that always makes me drip sweat, pulling that out from under my bed. Okay, I better not have forgotten anything because that was very hard to put under again. Okay, I had two pictures sitting here that were in my old apartment that I just moved out there because I feel like we're gonna put them in the hallway or something. I don't really vibe in my room. All of this on the floor, it's just clothes I kind of want to get rid of. I do not need anymore. <laughs> there are so many toys of Bennett's underneath those clothes. Okay, um, we're doing pretty good. I just need a few more, a few more finishing touches. Why is this the cleanest my room has ever looked right now? Okay, I would say we are looking pretty clean. Like my drawers are looking good. This part of my room is looking good. Like my desk and that are actually clean for once. And this is looking nice with no clutter right here. And now my door can actually open all the way. Other than that, I'm feeling pretty good about this. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Glad we got a little bit of spring cleaning in for my room. Um, I did some spring cleaning in the kitchen the other day, but I didn't film that. Um, and that felt very, very good. So I'm just kind of going through room by room. I'm hoping to do like a nice living room transformation soon. Um, we're planning on getting a rug and some pictures and like finally finishing that. It's just hard when you've two other people in the mix and you all have different schedules like trying to do that. But um, I also have exciting news. I have a picture coming for right here. It's on the way. So you'll see it in the next few weeks. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here. So thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.